everything seems fragile, especially people. For the millions of Thais living hand to mouth, life was already tough. A house of cards waiting for one blow and it all comes crashing down. That blow was coronavirus. Choleda lost her job as a bus ticket collector. Her electricity just got cut off. And in a matter of weeks, she will be evicted. Just thinking makes me cry. I'm so stressed. I'm about to have no home. I have no money. I have nothing. I'm at the end of the road. There's no way out for me. She struggles with depression every day. Every day she has suicidal thoughts. She's been waiting on the government cash handout of $154 per month. 28.8 million people applied, only 13.4 million approved. The longer they wait, the more desperate they become. The daily dose of death from financial hardship is heartbreaking. A mother unable to buy milk for her kids, a used car dealer who could not pay back loans, an English teacher despairing from financial calamity. The list goes on. Thailand's suicide rate was high even before this pandemic, holding the number one position among ASEAN countries. But now combine that with a pandemic that has made inequality even more stark. As suicide rates usually shoot up during times of stress, like the Asian financial crisis, experts believe that this current situation will be no different. From our polls, we have found that the COVID situation has caused increased stress in 67% of our respondents. It's like a pyramid. At the bottom, the majority of the population is vulnerable. When there is a sudden shock, these people feel there's no way out. Thais are reluctant to talk openly about mental illness due to deep-rooted social stigma. But these aren't normal times. Calls to the government's mental health hotline increased by almost 3,000 percent in March alone. We called. All lines were busy. Filling the gap is Thailand's first mental health app, Uka. Through private video therapy sessions, they are hoping technology will make healthcare more accessible for those in need. Not only in the difficult time, like in this COVID uh, pandemic era, but even before this, we help people go through access. It's very hard to get bookings uh, with psychiatrists or psychologists, and also it helps people go through stigma. I feel that this is a pivoting point. A pivotal point for those powerless in planning for the future, contemplating death with death's own hands, hoping for a lifeline to ease their pain. Dusita Sao Gao, CGTN, Bangkok, Thailand.